Before we discuss about the login servlet, let's run the web application again. I'll do a right click run as MPN build Tomcat 7. If you already have it running, that's okay. But I have stopped it. So now I would go ahead and run it again. It takes a few seconds for the server to start up. And now I can visit the page localhost colon 88. One tip which might help you. If you get a port already in use exception, for example, I'll run. Like my server is already running. So I'll go ahead and run it again. So I'll do right click run as MVN build. I'll choose Tomcat 7 run. So this would try and launch up the server again. I already have the server launched up. But what I'm doing is. I'm trying to launch it up again. You get an exception saying Java net bind exception address already in use. This would not launch up the server because the port 8080 is already used by a, a server which is already launched up. So what you can actually do in that kind of situation is actually terminate the server first and you can double click the this arrow which is in there and then you'd go to the server instance which is already running. If you would want, actually you can kill the server and launch it up again. Or if it already has the latest code, then you can use the already running version. Let's now go to localhost 8080. We, what we see on the screen is my first servlet. And I also see uh, Yahoo in here. What we would do is we want to understand what happens behind the screen for this. So what we would need to do is use right click and do inspect element. I'm using Firefox. So if you're using Firefox too, right click and do inspect element. Once we do right click inspect element, we get into the developer tools section of Firefox. There are a lot of features in here. The one which we are really interested in is network. So I would go to network and I would reload the page. So what I'll do is I'll reload the page again. What you'd see when I go to the all tab is a request file. I'm doing an inspect element. I would go to the network tab and reload the page again and then you'd see something happening behind the screen. So what you are seeing in here is what is called a get request. This is how the web applications work irrespective of the technology they use behind the screen. What they do is they use something called a request. So when we typed in localhost colon 8080 what the browser does is it creates a request and sends a request to this particular server it sends a request to localhost 8080 what kind of request it's a get request we'll understand the difference between get and a post a little later but in this particular situation what we are sending is a get request to the request url localhost colon 8080 along with the request a few request headers are also sent. If you looked at it here, it shows the browser I am using, Mozilla 5.0. And there are a few other parameters which are sent along with the request headers. That's not really important for you, but you need to understand that there is something called request headers. When we typed in localhost 8080, we are actually creating a GET request to localhost 8080 and Along with the GET request, there are a few request headers which are sent in. That's the request. Now, what was the response that came back? I would go and click the response, which is the fourth tab on my screen right now. And the response you see is a HTML. So you'd see that there is some HTML coming back from the server. So when the server got this request, when the server got the HTTP request, localhost, 8080 what it did is it responded back with this particular response what does the response contain the response contains very simple html html it contains a little bit uh, a title and it contains a little bit of body what which we see on the screen right now so my first servlet is inside the body and yahoo is the title and that's what you see in here so when the server got the request when the web server got the request localhost 8080 it responded back with a response so this is a http request and this is a http response along with the response also there are a few headers which are sent back so if you see what is the date i mean what is the time on this server and what is the type of server what is the length of the response that's returned back 
those are the response headers which are returned back from the server so if we look at it at a high level it's very simple when i type in localhost 8080 the browser creates a get request to localhost 8080 along with a few request headers the request goes to the server and the server is responding back with a http response which contains the html content as well as a few headers on the response this is how all the web applications work you can try this on other websites too you can probably go to google.com and see what's happening in the background you can go to other websites and see what's going to the background and you would see a lot of requests and responses happening in the background. So to summarize what we have seen until now, when I type in a URL in the browser bar, the browser sends something called a HTTP request to the web server. In the specific case we were looking at, it was a GET request. And the web server, once it gets the request, it responds back with a HTTP response. What we are building as part of this web application is the code in the web server. Browser sends HTTP requests to web server. So what should the web server do? What should the code in the web server do? It should take, the code in the web server should take the HTTP request. It should take the HTTP request as input. So the HTTP request is a input to the code in the web server. And what is the output? The output is what does the web server needs to give back? It needs to give back a HTTP response. So the output is HTTP response. So the input to the web server code is a HTTP request and the output from the code in the web server is a HTTP response. Let's look at the sequence of steps again. I type in a URL in the browser bar. The browser creates a HTTP request, sends it to the web server. The code in the web server, it looks at the HTTP request and based on the content of the HTTP request, it responds back with the HTTP response. The HTTP response is sent back to the browser and the browser would show the page. That's basically the entire flow for any web 